Hello and welcome to the podcast for education here on Africa Business Radio. Taking us through English is Ms. Jaja and she'll be treating on the topic punctuation. All right, welcome learners to class this beautiful day. In English language today, we'll be talking punctuation. I hope my primary two learners are all ready. Now, what are punctuations? We're going to start off from there. Remember, we've always said punctuations are signs or symbols that make sentences interesting and less boring when read. So that when you're writing something and somebody has to read them, the person sees it as very interesting and less boring. Why do we need punctuations? Punctuation help us to know when to take a stop, when to go and continue reading and then when to take a pause. Now, we say we've always known that punctuations are likened to be the traffic lights. Red will tell you to stop. So one of the punctuations is full stop. I know we've learned that in our previous classes before. Red means take a full stop. Then when you get to take a pause or when you get to take a breather, we use your comma so that which means as you read, you see a comma, you take a breather, you take a pause. And then when you finish reading, you stop. Now, but we're not all just going to look at full stops and commas. Today, we'll be looking at what is called the speech marks. Speech marks. Now, what are speech marks and what function do they play in a sentence? A speech mark is used to indicate direct speech. Or you could say a reported speech. Or... You could say, writing what someone has said verbatim. So I'm reporting what somebody has said, but I'm not saying it verbally. I'm writing it. But I write word for word what the person has said. Now let's take an example. I love to read a book, said Elizabeth. I love to read a book, said Elizabeth. Now, this is a sentence. Now, because the person is making the sentence or the person that said this statement is Elizabeth. But because I am writing it, I say, I love to read a book, said Elizabeth. Now, I love to read a book will be in speech marks because I'm not the person saying it. If I was a person saying it, we just say, Alero likes to read a book. But because I'm not talking about me now, I'm talking about what Elizabeth said and I'm writing it. So it will go, I love to read a book, said Elizabeth. I love to read a book because it's what Elizabeth said will be in speech marks. And speech marks are like commas written on top of what the person has said. Let's take another example. What did you do yesterday? I could be asking you this question, but this time it's not me that is asking the question. Somebody said this sentence. What did you do yesterday? Asked Lucy. It's a statement. I've written what Lucy said. So I could change it and say, Lucy said, what did you do yesterday? But whatever Lucy said, because it's what Lucy said, and I'm repeating what she has said, or I am reporting it, I put it, in speech mark so that anybody reading the statements will know that yes okay the writer is writing this because somebody else has said it so anytime you're reporting a direct speech anytime you're putting down what somebody has said verbatim will say you use speech marks so that the person knows i take a pause and listen very well this is a reported speech now the second type of punctuations we're going to be talking about today is called parentheses. We have two types of parentheses. We have the round brackets and we have the square brackets. Now let's talk about the round brackets. The round brackets are used to separate extra information from the rest of the sentence or to add emphasis to a sentence, which means if I take any word written in the round bracket the sentence still makes sense. But then to give emphasis, to add extra information to that sentence, whatever word will be put in round brackets. To make emphasis or to add information to a sentence, the extra word or the extra emphasis will be put in round brackets. Let's take an example. 
Last weekend, I visited James. That's a proper sentence. It starts with a capital letter, ends with a full stop. And then it has the information I want to say. It's a complete sentence. Last weekend, I visited James. Which means I'm telling you, or when you read the sentence, you know, okay, I visited James last weekend, not on Monday, not on Friday. Maybe weekend starting Friday evening after school. So I visited James. But now for emphasis, let's put an emphasis or let's put a word in run brackets to add emphasis to this sentence. Last weekend, I visited James, my best friend. Now, so the word my best friend will be in run brackets. So the sentence will read, last weekend, I visited James, my best friend. My best friend being written in the round bracket. So it's adding emphasis or adding extra information to the previous sentence. Round brackets. Now let's see the next type of parenthesis. We have the square brackets. Square brackets. Now that also had extra information to the sentence. When climbing it, it is important to be very safe. That's the example I'm giving now. When climbing it, it is important to be very safe. When climbing it, it is important to be very safe. Let's think the sentence true. When climbing it. It could be you're seeing what I'm talking about. If you were standing by me and I was making that statement, you understand what I'm talking about because the it there doesn't have a name. It doesn't tell us what we're talking about. It doesn't tell us what we're climbing. So to add an extra information to that sentence so that whoever is reading that sentence knows what they are climbing, I put in square brackets, mountains. So the sentence will read, when climbing it, in square bracket mountains, it is very important to be safe. Did you see it? So the mountains there has given you an idea of what I was talking about when I say when climbing it, it is very important to be very safe. So that is the emphasis. That is the importance of round brackets and square brackets. They had extra information to the sentence or they had emphasis to the sentence. I hope you've learned more about punctuations and the importance of having punctuations in our writings. Whether you're writing sentences, whether you're writing short stories, use punctuation so that whoever is reading your story has a full understanding of what you're talking about. It's nice to have you in class today. See you next time. Keep staying safe. Bye. Thank you for listening to the podcast for education today. For feedbacks and questions, remember to reach us across all our social media platforms, Facebook or Instagram at Africa Business Radio, Twitter, Africa Biz Radio. You can also go to listen to this and other particular lessons on our podcast channels at www.africabusinessradio.com. Until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.